Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video we're going to be looking at how you can turn your Raspberry Pi into an FM transmitter. Not only will it transmit in mono or stereo, it will also transmit the RDS text as well. Now I stumbled across a project on GitHub and I thought I'd go through it with you. Now the only hardware you're going to need is a Raspberry Pi with obviously the latest version of Raspbian installed on an SD card. And you're also going to need a little bit of wire, probably around 50 centimeters to 70 centimeters. The longer the better really. Now this is because what we need to do is we need to actually plug it onto one of the pins on the header. Now if we look at GPI4, which is pin seven, this is actually where we need to plug it in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is this one here. Now these are some little jumper cables that I got from uh, a little Raspberry Pi kit. Now I've got quite a few of these and I've just joined them all together. So I'm literally just going to plug them in and we've got a nice length of them. So that's it, that's all you need to do hardware wise apart from apply some power. Now assuming that you've already configured this on your local area network or on your Wi-Fi network, we can now go over to the PC and we can SSH into it. We're going to use a program called Putty so we can get to the command line and we're going to install the software that we need. So let's go over to it now. Right, so with your Raspberry Pi already plugged into the power and connected to your local area network or your Wi Fi connection, you need to now go ahead and use Putty or some other kind of Telnet application which can get to the shell, get to the command line. So I've already got one set up here, so I'm just going to click open. And I'm going to pop in my username and password and here we go so I'm just going to quickly check so I'm just going to CD into my documents folder this is just so that I can keep things nicely organized so from here we're going to run a few lines of code so the first thing that we need to install is actually the SND file library so let's just go ahead and do that I will put all the commands down in the description below so it's nice and easy for you to get but it's quite easy you simply type this line in and hit enter it will go off and download these so we need to make sure obviously that you've got internet connection as well the second thing that we need to do is to clone the project from GitHub. Now this is thanks to a guy called Christoph Jacket and he's created a application called Pi FM RDS. So we can just type this in here, git clone, etc, etc, press enter. And this will now clone the Pi FM RDS project to our Raspberry Pi. So ls, just to have a quick look to make sure it's there, and it is nicely, pi fm rds. So what we now need to do is we now need to make it. So we're gonna cd into that project. And we're gonna go into the source folder. Make sure we're there. Yes, we are. So the first thing we need to do is run make clean. And then we just type in make. So we're pretty much ready now to run the application. I know, how easy was that? It was very quick. So obviously, because the Raspberry Pi is going to become an FM transmitter, we need some kind of device to listen to that audio. Now, for me, there's no better application than using SDR Sharp with my SDR dongle uh, from Nuelec. So let me just load up SDR Sharp. And here we go. So I'm just going to turn the audio down here to make sure it's working. And there we go. Okay, so now back over to the putty terminal window. We now need to put in a command to make sure that it's working. So what we can do is from here, we just type in sudo dot forward slash pi underscore fm underscore rds and we're going to define a frequency so dash frequency and we're going to go 103.3 now let me just put this on and we're going to go ahead now and hit enter on my terminal window 
and there we go we have a dead carrier okay cool so that seems to be working quite nicely just do Control z to stop it so what we want to do now is pipe some audio into it now this does already come with some sound files that you can use to test so if we just have a quick look in the installation folder we can see we've got some wav files there so let's try playing one of these WAV files. So using the same command as before, we're going to add another switch and we're going to call it audio and we call it sound.wav. Let's put the uh, SDR back on and then hit enter on here. and control z to stop it nice so it looks like it's working okay so i think that was a mono signal so let's go ahead and see if we can get this working in stereo so i'm going to change this audio sound file to the one that's already there it says stereo underscore four four one zero zero dot wav now the four four one zero zero is actually the sample rate in hertz and I have spelt stereo wrong. Stereo. And let's start the SDR again. And I'm going to hit enter. Pi FM RDS, left channel. Pi FM RDS, right channel. Pi FM RDS, left channel. Pi FM RDS, right channel. Nice, so that is actually working really well. So you may remember at the beginning of the video, I also mentioned as well as broadcasting mono and stereo, this application and this device can also transmit RDS, which is the radio text that you see on your display of your radio. Sometimes it shows song information, sometimes it will just show the station name that you're listening to. So let's go ahead and try this out. So using the command that we used at the beginning, we're not going to have any audio on this. So we've got sudo dot forward slash pi fm rds. We're going to still going to define the frequency, but we also now need to define the radio text. And the way we do that is we do dash rt space the apostrophe and then we're going to do hello from tech tech minds if I can type FM and then the apostrophe at the end so let's just start up the SDR receiver and we're not worried about the audio we're just looking at this up here so hopefully when we hit enter this text will change here And there we go, hello from TechMinds FM. So we just do control Z to stop it. Now the audio files that I've been testing with are just WAV files that's already come with the application. So you can create your own and play your own audio uh, as much as you like. Now there are other ways of piping audio into Pi FM RDS. You can also pipe it in from a MP3 file that's stored on a server somewhere. And you can use the SOX, the SOX application. Uh, plug-in for piping audio into it and you can also uh, use a record to pipe audio from a microphone or from an external source like a USB sound card. I'm not going to cover that in this video this is purely just to show you guys what can be done. I'll leave a link down in the description to the project so if you're interested in this you can go ahead and have a play around with yourself. Don't forget that if you're broadcasting in a particular band, then make sure that you're legally allowed to do so in whichever country you're in. I also want to say a massive thank you to everybody who subscribed and got me to over a thousand subs. You guys are awesome. It really, really means a lot to me. If you enjoy my videos, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and don't forget to press that bell for the notifications for when I next upload. I've got quite a lot more videos in the pipeline, all related to SDR, maybe some programming. Guys, let me know what you're interested in, and I'll try and accommodate for all of you. Until the next video, guys, take care, and we'll see you then.